Hello everyone. It's strange, right? What we are going through. Nobody has ever faced this, at least in the past three or four generations. People say every hundred hundred years something like this occurs. Maybe every hundred years there's a data. But for us who are facing this, this is very new. We don't know when this is going to come to an end. People say it's going to be for the next six weeks. A few people say it's not going to end in next six weeks. The fear that is in us is slightly growing as we go by. I want to remind you of a passage in the book of Genesis chapter 6. The Bible tells us, God instructs Noah. He says like this, You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you and for them. Friends, the Bible tells us, all of a sudden Noah was instructed to get into a new home. He was not used to that at all. Maybe he, his sons, his daughters-in-law, his wife, they were all used to a different kind of a lifestyle. But God is now instructing them, go inside. And after Noah had obeyed God's voice, he went inside. The Bible tells us, the Lord shut the door. Look at it. As the government or as people around us, they're asking us to stay indoors. As people are restricting our movements, maybe because of our welfare, considering the things that are outside, they want us to be safe and they're asking us to be inside. Similarly, God wanted Noah and his family to be inside. There was going to be something disastrous that's going to happen. Maybe in the beginning, they didn't know. There could have been a lot of questions. We've never stayed with animals. We've never stayed with birds inside one place. Maybe it was all different for them. They could have seen birds. They could have seen animals roaming around. But for the first time, they had to share space with them. But the Bible tells us, God asked Noah to go inside. All that Noah did was obeyed. And we know that the rain lasted for 40 days. There was only one window in that big ark. In that one window, if they had opened it, rain would have gushed inside. Maybe they couldn't have even known what is happening. They didn't know whether it was a day that is over. Today, you and I have a watch. You and I have a phone that records the date. But during those days, they didn't even know whether it was a day, whether it was a night. All that they could hear is maybe you're listening to some, to some news, um, news, uh, news from different channels or you're listening to this message but all that they could hear is the sound of rain for 40 days and 40 nights all that they could hear is only rain and after that when they saw there was full of water the earth was surrounded with water friends similarly maybe the time that you and I are facing now we are just listening to news we are just listening to scary reports we are just listening about how things are now portioned or how things are shared between patients Maybe you and I have come to a stage where it says, this is my document, this is my phone, this is my files. Maybe we have come to a place where we don't even want to share it with our own siblings or with our own family members. But now we have come to a stage and age where one ventilator is now being shared for two patients. It's a very strange thing. But during those days, God had prepared Noah. And the Bible tells me, maybe they didn't have a fridge, they didn't have a microwave oven. But still, the food that Noah had taken, how many tons could have Noah stored into the ship? And today you and I know, if one day of power cut, the things that we keep it in the refrigerator is spoiled but God was the one who preserved it God was the one who kept them safe and the Bible tells us at the end of 40 days they still had to be in the ship at the end of one year that is when they stepped out and when they stepped out not one of them was ailing not one of them was sick they were protected from all the dead bodies that were floating all the decomposed bodies or all those unwanted bacteria viruses that could have been found there after one year God kept them safe God preserved them and when they stepped in they were healthy they were able to think they were able to get into farming they were able to reap the harvest friends similarly you're watching this in a very uncertain period maybe you have a secure job whether you are working from home or working at office your salaries are secure but think about so many people who are into businesses they have to shut down think about people who live by faith they don't have any earnings think about people who are daily wages earners they they are going through a tough situation maybe the income has not come in But they have to pay their rent, they have to pay their EMIs, they have to pay their bills. With all the subsidies, with all the time frame that the government is allowing, still there's a heavy load and burden on them. But somewhere God has secured you, somewhere God has preserved you. As you're watching this, all that we want to remind you is, the Bible tells me, right from the 6th chapter of Genesis, till they get down from the ark, there were many times, one word is kept, God has repeated. It says, Noah obeyed all that God commanded. Noah obeyed all that God commanded. Maybe this is something that God wants us to listen. Trust in the Lord. Do not lean on your own understanding. Hold on to God's promises. He will keep
keep you secure he will bless the groceries or the preservatives that you think this could preserve my food whatever it is beyond all these things the hand of god will preserve them will definitely be more than enough for you and your family members to come out safe and secure i'm going to pray with you that god would preserve you in the next 20 30 days that we are going to be in a lockdown period or we are going to be isolated from our work spots from our family members let's pray God we thank you for all these people who are watching this maybe they are in a very uncertain period lord we don't know what the future holds for us but as we've always heard we know who holds our future lord we thank you for being with us we thank you for giving us this hope that you will preserve us in this new lockdown period in this new isolation that we have moved into lord we pray that you would surely preserve us and when we finish the whole period that we are isolated or we are cut off from the rest of the world lord we want to be healthy we want to be productive we want to be safe and we want to be a blessing to people around us in jesus name we pray amen friends god will surely preserve you more than all that you've been going through i'm sure god is able to definitely sustain you and give you the future that you need amen